Okay, teachers, for our next video, yung video na kinreate ko po kanina is uh, diniscuss po kung paano po kayo makakapag-create ng quizzes and exams using the iSpring software. Now, for this video, ang susunod ko naman pong i-discuss sa inyo is kung paano nyo po may upload into your Neo LMS account yung po mga quizzes and exams na ginawa nyo. Now, kung sinusundan nyo po yung dalawang video na kinreate ko po earlier, as we already know, the uh, said quiz or the said exam is being saved here under the uh, documents of my PC with the file name Spelling Quiz for the SCORM and Spelling Quiz for the iSpring Quizmaker project file. Now, since we are already done, with the uh, iSpring uh, software, because we already created the quiz, I'm going to uh, close my iSpring and then open. Okay, uh, I close my iSpring software and then I am now here at the uh, TUMCSI, that Neo LMS portal, I'm going to log in using my teacher account. And then I'm going to upload my iSpring quiz or my SCORM quiz here in my Philippine Trivia's subject. Okay, to upload your quiz or your exam into your uh, subjects or a particular subject, once you've entered that subject right here on the left portion of your screen, simply choose or click assignments. Para the moment that you activate nyo po yung quiz, automatically it will appear on the to-do task of our student. Now, once na nandito na kayo sa assignment portion, and you are now ready to upload your SCORM quiz, simply click the Add button. Okay, click the Add. And then once the Add Assignment option or menu appears, click SCORM or take a SCORM quiz. Again, click the SCORM or take a SCORM quiz. After that, once the Add SCORM assignment appears, click New and then drop file here or click to browse just click it and then choose the scorm package or the compressed file of your quiz again the scorm package or the scorm file will be saved as a compressed or zip file i'm going to choose the uh, spelling quiz scorm kasi iyan yung project file or iyan yung uh, quiz na kinreit natin kanina sa iSpring na in-export natin as a SCORM file. I'm going to uh, simply double click it to upload. And then once na nag-appear yung name, description, subject, and library, under the name of our quiz, I'm going to uh, type in first multiple choice quiz in spelling. Description is for example, answer the multiple choice quiz by clicking the radio button. Under the subject, I'm going to assign it under the subject English. Okay, don't forget to fill the following information, the name, the description, and the subject. After that, click Save once you're done. Now, your SCORM import is being processed. Once you see this notification, SCORM import is complete. Just click this notification. And then, you will see the message. The SCORM module was imported successfully. Click the following link to finish creating the SCORM assignment. First, multiple choice in spelling. Just click this link. And then after that, you're going to write the title of your quiz. 
first multiple choice quiz in spelling. Maximum score is 100. Maximum attempts for this quiz. Let's say, for example, I'm just going to give just one attempt. I'm not going to allow late for the category. I'm going to give it as a quiz. You may also, uh, for example, if uh, you created a long quiz or a test, you can also assign it or give it a category as test. Now, since five items lang po yung kinreate nating quiz earlier, I'm just going to assign it as quiz. Grading is uh, normal. Start date. For the purpose of this uh, demonstration, I'm going to start this uh, quiz now. August 26, 2020. Let's say, for example, I activated it at 12 in the morning. Just going to click done. For the due, the said quiz will end at August 26 at 11.59 p.m. Then after that, under here, sa instruction, dito po natin type or ilalagay yung ating instruction for the quiz. Let's say, for example, uh, this is a multiple choice quiz. You may choose your answers by clicking the radio button that corresponds to your chosen answer. Okay, after that, click the options uh, menu just beside the overview. And then, you will have here an additional option on how you will uh, execute your quiz. Let's say, for example, uh, navigation button. I'm just going to uh, leave it with none. Autoplay option is checked. Show in students' results is the questions, the response. I'm just going to unclick the correct answer. I'm just going to uh, uncheck the feedback. And then after that, I'm just going to uh, click the save button. Okay, then after that, again, to activate the said quiz, you may click the Give button if you're ready to activate it now. Or you may also proceed here under the Assignments. And then you may uh, activate it later. Or let's say, for example, for the purposes of this demonstration, just like what I've mentioned, I'm going to activate it now. So I'm going to uh, click the check box beside. And then I'm going to click Give. Now, let's see kung ano naman po yung makikita ni uh, students dun sa kanyang uh, quiz once uh, na that, that student is now ready to answer the said quiz. I'm going to log out the account first. After uh, logging out, I'm just going to click the login. And then under here, sa so today, makikita niya rito yung kanya mga activities. But uh, just like what I mentioned earlier or before, ang um, kailangan bigyan po ng attention ng mga student is kung ano po yung actively under sa kanyang to-do task. For today, we have one assignment due under the to-do task. I'm just going to click and uh, open that activity. Again, there you have it, the instruction. This is a multiple choice quiz. You may choose your answers by clicking the radio button that corresponds to your chosen answer. Once that the student is now ready to uh, take the quiz, he or she may click the take activity. Now, dito sa instruction, pakisama na lang po if you're going to create your own quiz or multiple choice quiz that the student needs to uh, click the take activity radio button to uh, start the quiz. Okay, just wait for the quiz to uh, load. Okay, after loading the quiz, the student can now answer it by uh, clicking the radio button. 
Say, for example, uh, choose the misspelled word and click the radio button that corresponds to your answer. For this question, question number one, for me, the misspelled word is the, this one. Now, to uh, see the next question, I'm just going to click the submit button. Next question. For me, the uh, wrong answer or the correct answer for this item is this one. Next question. Next question. Next question. I think this is the last question. And once that I reach the uh, final question, once I click the submit button, okay, you will see here that the button will change into the close button. Once I click the close button, the message, the viewing is complete, you may close this window. I'm just going to uh, go here under my home. Show me next time. Open that subject. After opening the subject, once that uh, I click the uh, scores here, I will see here, first multiple choice quiz in spelling, I got a grade of 100. Okay, now we're going to go back to the uh, teacher account and see if the same grade reflects on the grade book of the student. Okay, I'm going to open the Philippine Trivia subject. I'm going to uh, click the grade book. And then, under the uh, first multiple uh, choice quiz for the subject spelling here. Okay. There's the grade book. Okay, the student got the grade of 100. Okay, it only shows that when you import a SCORM quiz or exam using the iSpring and you imported it on your uh, Neo LMS account, hindi nyo na po kinakailangan manually mag-check or mag-grade for your student. Because automatically, upon submission or the moment that they click the close button after answering the final item, the system or the uh, SCORM package will automatically count the score of your student. Okay, there's uh, the submission of the student. You will see here that it is correct, 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 and uh, correct. Okay, paano ko ba siya nakita again? Going back to the uh, gradebook here. I just click the uh, paper icon found uh, at the upper left portion of that column for the grade. And then once uh, that I hover my mouse button, makikita nyo po yung tooltip that says submission. Just click the paper icon and then you will see the student's submission. And with the uh, corresponding remark, if that uh, answer is correct or wrong. Now, I hope this video uh, will uh, help you in your method in uh, creating quizzes or will also help you in creating assessment for your subject. If you like this video, just leave it a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to uh, share something, please feel free by leaving your comment below. Thank you so much and see you again on my next video.